I'm an addict for sneakers, 20s of Buddha and bitches with beepers in the streets I could greet ya. Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy Nature Below G, often imitated, never duplicated, bringing you the best on beats in the game. Yo, before we move forward, go ahead, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and ring the hell out of that notification bell so that you can stay in tune with all the fire that I got coming for you and all that other good stuff. It definitely does help the channel. Anyway, yo, you already know what this is right here. This right here, as you can tell by the title, I'm gonna be going over the top 10 shoes that I'm going to be wearing in the summertime. And like, look, I'm trying to keep this as less hype as possible, but I want this to be something that you can do also. So let's go ahead and get into it right about now. Whoa. Whoa. Uh. Boom. So we're definitely gonna start with this. Yo, the Air Force One High. This is my number one shoe. Now, these shoes are not numbered in any type of order. These are just definitely the shoes that I'm gonna be rocking over the summer. Now, this shoe is a classic shoe, easy to rock, easy to stock. You know, you can get this. You don't have to have like extra hype or anything. This joint right here, absolute fire. One of my favorite shoes in my collection. And you already know what time it is. All white, Air Force One, hot. Let's get to the next kick. Number two. Two. <laughs> it's kind of funny that the Just Don Jordan 2, yo, another clean colorway. Uh, just a shoe that I'm definitely going to be rocking in the summertime. This pair right here, absolutely fire. Came with that, um, that hat inside the big red box. Dope shoe. I know the hype just turned up, but let's go ahead and get to the next shoe right about now. Number three. And we just brought it all the way back down. Now, this is the Gone Fishing Foam Posit. Yo, sometimes I wanna step on the court and I wanna step in something funky, you know what I mean? And just wear something different that you haven't seen people wear in a long time. This pair has definitely, you know, uh, survived the times. And it's one of the shoes that I do wear. You already see that it's worn. And it will be worn this summer my personal style i could show you guys some on feats and everything like that but right now i ain't even trying to go outside because coronavirus stay inside another thing i like to go fishing you feel me next shoe desert sage yeezy uh one of the best yeezys that i picked up this year um bro i'm happy to have this shoe extra clean you already see that sock liner in there that hit that pop right here definitely a nice summer shoe it's not gonna be too many festivals going on but like hey if you just walk in you know along the lakefront i think this thing is gonna be hitting especially with that nice green right here that sage green dope shoe in my opinion great summer shoe and you can get this for just about like around retail don't don't play yourself grab your pair let's go ahead and get to the next joint number five now the hype just went up this joint right here from the original 10 collection the off-white vapor max now this is my first off-white shoe my buddy actually entered the raffle for me i day i called him on the whim yo do you mind going to go do this raffle for me he went down there did it and there you have it your boy was lucky enough to get this pair i was so excited like going like crazy um this was during a time when everybody was in line trying to get um the human race uh that joint and he just went there and did that for me got me a shirt got me the raffle ticket and we was lit i'm so happy to have it let's go ahead and get to the next joint this is my vacation shoe i love this shoe next number six and the height just went a little bit higher complex con exclusive the amarello player exclusive jerry lorenzo fear god definitely happy to have this pair in my collection Definitely will be rocking this in the summertime. Them bright colors, that nice yellow with a nice blue. You know what I mean? Some light blue denim jeans. Yo, absolutely fire. And if I didn't have this in the collection, as far as like top 10 shoes to wear, I would be playing myself. Let's go to the next shoe. Seven. You already knew this shoe was gonna be a part of the top 10 shoes to wear. During the summer, I've been talking about this joint, that Jordan 3 Carolina, so fucking fire. So, 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 so fire. A lot of people just thought this was just gonna be just another Jordan 1 because it's not 
PE version that we saw uh, previously before this pair came out. Yo, it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? And I'm glad I'm had. I'm glad I had this pair. Kind of sucked that we didn't get March Madness this year. Really curious to see what was Carolina going to do. Yeah. I love this joint. Heart and soul, baby. Your heart and soul got to be in this sneaker joint. One more shoe. Let's go. Number eight. Oh. At the A spot. Now, I got this, uh, the Yeezy Azelle. Now, I know the, the triple black colorway just came out. Well, I got this joint. This joint right here definitely going to make it. This is a very breathable shoe. Uh, something I definitely will be wearing with like no show socks or something like that. These joints are just fire. You know, whenever you have the OGs, the OG pairs, you know what I'm saying? It just rocks, you know what I'm saying? They triple OG, gotta keep the OGs in the collection, baby. You already know what I'm talking about. Let's go ahead and get to that number nine shoe. Let's go. Number nine. Boom, the number nine shoe, Chuck Taylor. Uh, Chuck Taylor Off-White, not very hype shoe. Uh, I think the prices on these did definitely go up, but just the Chuck Taylor in general, you know what I mean, is like one of the shoes that I definitely will be wearing. This summer, I just happen to have the Off-White version that I will be wearing. This one is not one of the most revered versions, but this is the version that I have and I, I love it. Let's go ahead and go. Last number shoe, this is the 10 shoe that I will be rocking during the summertime. Don't play yourself, go ahead and get you a pair. Bruh. Number 10. The Yeezy Basketball. This is like the number 10 shoe that I definitely will be wearing in the summer. Y'all gotta get me like some Adidas basketball shorts or something. You know, back in the day, man, you used to have them basketball shorts on doing your, you know what I'm saying, your thug thizzle. Hey, yo, that was a crazy time. That was a crazy time back in, you know, for me, I used to have the basketball shorts. That's when I was a young bull. You know what I'm talking about? Going crazy out here. Anyway, the Yeezy Basketball, that's my number 10 shoe in the collection that I definitely will be wearing in the summertime. Now, four, maybe, I think I'll we'll just do three honorable mentions because how can you just have a list of 10 shoes and without just breaking down some of that fire, you know what I'm saying? So, honorable mention number one is, yeah, you already guessed it, the Off-White Jordan 5s. What I look like not wearing this in the summertime, knowing this shoe just came out this year. Hey, yo, I gotta do it. Yeah, this is an eight and a half. Go through the size of these joints anyway. This shoe definitely will be being this shoe definitely will be worn During the summertime. This is the second Jordan shoe that Virgil has Designed and did you know that Virgil thing too. So this is definitely gonna be worn And if the fours come out this year, those are definitely gonna be worn also That was honorable mention number one. Now. Let's get to honorable mention number two. Let's go Back with swoosh, Travis Scott Jordan 1. Again, this shoe has not been worn, won't be worn, but I am about to invest in another pair so that I can wear a pair because, yeah, we need these 2,000 subscribers so I can get these out of here because things have been really, really, really tempting. Last shoe that's gonna be worn as far as like last honorable mention, let's get it. It's this pair right here. Can you guess what it is? I'm sure you're not gonna even guess this pair. You're not gonna guess this pair. It's this pair right here. Boom! Last but not least, the ZX4000 4D. Yo, this shoe is fire to me. I know that it's not extra hype and I was showing a couple of hype shoes, but this joint right here is one of my favorite shoes in my collection. These are the shoes that I wore when my daughters were born. You know what I'm saying? I'm glad to have this joint, yo. That 4D technology, man, extra fire. That's, that's to me though, man. I love this shoe. I don't even think I showed this in my collection video. You know what I mean? Um, but yeah, the ZX 4040 is the last honorable mention that I will be wearing this summer. Tell me what you guys think. What are some of the shoes that you know that are like the most fire summer shoes? You know what I mean? Let's talk about it, man. I really want to know, you know, what are some of your joints that you're going to be wearing? What did you pick up again, again, again? Thanks for rocking with me. Thanks for watching my videos. Thanks for subscribing. Yo, the love ain't cheap and I love the love. Anyway, um, I want to go ahead and leave you guys with a little bit of positive feedback. Because uh, I know the last one I did inside my last video was like kind of like, bruh, like you going hard, huh? <laughs> the, well, here's something right here. Check this out. So we're going to go this way with it. And I know it's kind of like crazy. I don't know. Anyway. I saw this somewhere, it said, uh, your opinion of me does not define who I am. 
You know what I mean? And hey, 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 hey. Now, that, that, that's something right there. Your opinion of me doesn't define who I am. Yo, I am who I am. So don't let nobody tell you, you know, they, uh, you only like this or you only like that or you only do this or you only do that. Try to like shape who you are. You know, you know who you are. You know what you like. And at the end of the day, you know, opinions are like assholes. Everybody got one. And trust me, a lot of these people out here are assholes. You know, that part. You heard? Anyway, again, thanks for rocking with me, fam. I love you guys. Thanks. I got somebody to vent to, share my culture with, share my love, my passion with. Yo, that part, man. I really like doing these videos. Peace. No time soon